Hello beautiful people, it's Bridget. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all having an awesome day. And today we are doing a video about wigs. Now you guys know I love wigs. I love the transformation. I love the fact that you can look so different and you don't actually have to change your real hair. So today we are going to do an Amazon wig try on and try to make this thing look real. Because honestly, when your hair is as paper thin as mine and you can never do anything with it, sometimes you want to have more volume, you want to have more length, or you just want a different color that you don't think you can achieve or pull off. So that's what wigs are for. And I love wigs very much. So today I have an Amazon. We're going to try to make this thing look realistic. That way I can leave the house and not feel like someone's going to clock me. <laughs> Alright guys, before we get started, I did get this off Amazon, I'll leave it linked down below. I get a lot of wigs off Amazon, some of them look better than others, but I digress. This is a brand I haven't tried on Amazon before, but yeah, I don't know, it was like 3am and I was like, I really want to try like a short wig, I don't have that many short wigs, so I ordered this one and I don't really remember why I picked this one. So, I'm going to put on a wig cap now and then we'll try on the wig with the lace still on it. It is like a... Auburn, but the picture looked way more smoky. This looks so much more vibrant in person. My hair is such a mess. Like, I swear my hair knows the weather. Like, when it's muggy and bleh outside, my hair never wants to do anything and it just looks like crap. So, how to determine the weather in North Carolina? Oh, Bridget's hair doesn't look like crap today. It must be really sunny over there. I honestly wish I could be one of those people who wears wigs every day. But I'm not willing to pay like $400 for a wig at this current moment to make it like a human hair really realistic one. So we're, we're doing with Amazon wigs. <laughs> this, this is the hair. I have this thing. Zatchel has this thing. I'll open a wig and I'll go do my makeup and I'll leave it on my desk. And then I always forget that Zatchel has this like fetish for wigs. Like if I have this unwrapped and on the desk, um, he will just come love all over it like he wants to knead it. He loves wigs. He'll stick his face in it. Like, I don't know what it is. So this one's a little bit, like, a little bit tangled, but we will brush it out. So this is the hairline for it. It's not that, it's not that good. Like, it looks okay. I like the parting space. The parting space right here is really good, but this hairline looks really just generic. So I'm going to cut the lace now, and then we'll try it on. Or I guess we could try it on with the lace first. I don't have any of the, uh, straps attached right now. I guess the hairline isn't too terrible. It's just really, really round. Yeah, I'm gonna cut the lace. All right, lace is cut. I'm gonna brush it out a little bit. The one thing about Amazon wigs is they're always shiny. Like this is pretty shiny. So I'm gonna spray it down. The first time I got a wig, the first thing I did was bought some dry shampoo because I always look so shiny and I'm just gonna dry shampoo the uh mostly the rooty area and kind of towards the front I don't really dry shampoo the back of it that much because I don't care enough at least it smells good right and now I'm gonna do is I'm just kind of run my hands through the hair a little bit just so like it doesn't get all white and powdery you know what some dry shampoos are all right so I'm going to adjust the straps this one has clips and straps I usually just do it in the middle because I don't know how big my head is. Also, I know there's going to be a lot of people like, This is not how you do this. Blah, blah, blah. She did this wrong. She did this wrong. I never claimed to be a wig professional. At all. Also, it really helps if you have dark hair naturally or dark hair dyed hair. Because then you can pull out a couple pieces of your actual hair and blend it in with that hairline. But unfortunately, my roots are blonde. And even most blonde wigs have, like, dark roots to them. Alright. Not off to a great start. This looks so wiggy. Like, the hair right here. Never mind this. This looks great. This looks so cute. Look at this color. I love it. This hairline, though, is a travesty. Now, let's not do a... Let's move it over. Is that better? Is that better? Is it worse? It's worse. Put it back. Put it back. Okay, um... So there is some spacing for the part, so I'm gonna add a little bit of concealer and see if that opens up. It's just that this hairline right here is really, really round. 
Now what I'm going to do, which a lot of people wouldn't recommend, is I'm actually going to cut into the lace a little bit and remove a few pieces of hair. Most people use tweezers. I'm just going to cut away a little bit to make it look a little less round here because it's like, wow. If you listen closely, you can hear the sound of my foundation on my forehead screaming. I'm now going to cut in a couple baby hairs in the front, just where it's the roundest, to try to fake the fact that my hair is damaged, because it's not real hair. I just cut this much hair off, and it's still, you can't even tell. This hair is so thick. And as goes everything else in life, this is such a failed video. Look, this one's too short of a bang. This one looks pretty good though, I like this one. This one's kind of short and kind of like realistic. The hair itself is uber gorgeous, it just doesn't look real. So you know what I do when it doesn't look real? I put a beanie on it, so let's do that. You know the thing is, I'm like, oh this doesn't look real, blah 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 blah, and I'll probably still end up wearing this in videos like this. And here, a beanie. Wow, great solution. Real original. <laughs> I look uber pale today. Ugh. Anyways, you guys, this is the look. As you can tell, I tried to do dark eye makeup today because I'm never used to doing dark eye makeup and I'm trying to get outside my comfort zone. So what do we think? Do we think I should dye my hair this color? I'm thinking I should because I just like this color hair maybe like a little more orange to it anyways i'll leave a poll up there if you want to see me dye my real hair this color anyways thank you guys so much for watching today's video i'm sorry it didn't go well but i hope it was entertaining maybe a baby bit to you if you guys have any more tips on how to actually make wigs like this look realistic because i don't think this looks realistic please let me know i could use your help that's why i'm still posting this video please help me i'm not a professional YouTube. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video people, every single freaking day. And I will do a lovely little makeup review for you tomorrow, hopefully. Bye.